Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti, I uh, MrPhotographer.com. Yesterday, I received an email from one of the viewers of my channel. His name is Mike, and he told me that he's restoring a couple vintage photographs, and he needs help, one, getting the yellow out, and two, there's some writing on the back of the photograph, and you can see how it bled through. And he wanted me to point him to one of my videos that it could help him do this. Well, I'm far from an expert when it comes to restoring vintage photographs, but these two issues I could help him with. And I asked him if he'd let me use one of his images that I do a video on it. And he very kindly allowed me to use this image of his. Now the image has two glaring problems, uh, the yellow, and that writing that is bleeding through from the back. And this is actually a little easier to do because it's a black and white photograph. Now, just for future reference, if you ever have a black and white photograph and it's just yellow, let's ignore that writing for a moment, all you need to do is get a hue saturation adjustment layer and take saturation all the way down. You'll get rid of the yellow. This image we can't do that with, and you can't do that, of course, with a color image. Why we can't do it on this image, though, is because of that writing in the background, um, or that's bleeding through. Uh, that would be much more difficult to get rid of now. So what we need to do is do something else. So how you would get rid of yellow on an image like this, or a color photograph, is you get a curves adjustment layer. And what you want to do is there's three droppers over here. You want to click on that middle dropper. And you want to click on somewhere in the image that in the original image was either white or gray. So if it is a color photograph, an old color photograph that is yellowed, find something in the image that was white or gray. In this case, because it's a black and white image, there's a lot of white in it, a lot of gray in it, right? So I could click like on her leg over here. It looks pretty white. But I think actually this is a an image with a border on it. Now, not the white border from his scan, but the actual border of the image. In the past, that was white. So we'll click on that. And you can see that it got rid of the yellow, although it kind of shaded it a little bit um, more towards the cool end. But we'll deal with that when we deal with now these, this lettering in the background. So we got rid of the yellow with a curves adjustment layer. Now, to get rid of the lettering in the background, we will get that hue saturation adjustment layer. And what we'll need to do is get this middle eyedropper here, but you can see how I can't select it. In order to make those active, all you need to do is go up here where it says master and just pick any of the colors. And now they're active. Now I'll click that middle one. And what I want to do is I want to click on the actual color writing. All right, so I'll just find somewhere. Looks like it was written with a pen. And we'll just click right there. Now what it does is it will align the, uh, the adjustment layer to that color. And that color will now be affected by any of the sliders I move here. All you need to do is take saturation all the way down. Now we've pulled that uh, color tone that the image had after I did the curves adjustment layer. We pulled that away and we pulled the color out of the lettering as well, but the lettering is still there. So what we need to do is go to the lightness slider and move that to the right until that lettering is gone, which is really just about at 90 or 100%. All right, so we got rid of the lettering and we got rid of the yellowing, but we kind of faded the image quite a bit. So we need to bring that back. To bring that back, we're going to get a levels adjustment layer. And you can see how the uh, histogram here has this big gap over here on the left. What we need to do is take this left hand slider and just move it so that it's just starting to touch that area there. And there's a tiny gap over here. We could just move this to the left too and it will make the darker parts a little darker by moving that left hand slider. And moving this right hand slider just makes the whiter parts a bit whiter. Now we have this um, this slider in the middle that's for the midtones. You could experiment with that to see if you could get a better mix. I think right in the middle was fine on this image. So 
that's how you would go about getting rid of yellow in the image and getting rid of anything uh, that was written on the back that bleeds through. That actually is very common. That happens quite often on older photographs. I know my mother wrote on every on the back of every single old photograph. So back, you know, in the early days of photography when I was a child, any photos of me had the date written on the back. She even wrote my name like she'd forget who I was or something like that. So that's how you do it. Now, as far as these more advanced issues uh, with the image, meaning we have some marks here, you could use spot removal to remove those, um, you know, at this point. But what you're going to want to do is either flatten all the layers over here or put a stamped layer on top. I usually prefer to put, put a stamped layer on top. And to do that, it's kind of a, a four key keyboard shortcut. Uh, on a Mac, it's Shift, Option, Command, E. On a, on a PC, it's Shift, Alt, Control, E. And when you do that, you'll put a stamp layer on top. Now on that stamp layer, you could come in and you could use the spot removal tool to get rid of those spots. Now this stuff over here, I think, is going to be more difficult. Also, there is a general stain on the image as well. And I'm not sure how to get rid of that. If any of you watching this video are more advanced at restoring, um, you know, an image like this, feel free to comment below how you would go about getting rid of this stain and getting rid of this kind of uh, odd stamped area here and see um, if you could help Mike out in that regard. So here's a before and there's after. Before, after. Thanks to Mike for loaning me this image to do this video, and thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>